Thousands of WA children were tested for COVID-19 last year as part of the DETECT school study. There you go, well done. Researchers from the Telethon Kids Institute didn't find the virus in any of the 79 public schools, but they did uncover an entirely different problem when young people were asked how they were feeling. The most concerning finding was that the levels of quite significant emotional distress in teenagers had increased dramatically since a similar survey six years ago. The study surveyed more than 19,000 WA high school students in mid-2020 and close to 14,000 in October. A national survey in 2014 showed 14 per cent of adolescents reported moderate to high emotional distress. Last year's surveys showed a threefold increase, with 40 per cent of WA high schoolers in distress. Overall, female students reported feeling worse than males. This was a growing problem before COVID-19. Uh, COVID-19 has simply brought it to everybody's attention. It's highlighted the mental health challenges in our classrooms. It's possible the pandemic had an, a, an effect of maybe exacerbating the problem, but it was already on the rise before that. The study pointed to an overall rise in the number of young people experiencing mental health issues, including a 50% increase in referrals to WA's Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service and a 104% increase in the number of children with anorexia needing hospitalisation last year. It underlines the importance of investing in uh, child and adolescent mental health services, which only make up 6.5% of the mental health budget. The Telethon Kids Institute wants to do follow-up surveys to find out how kids are faring as the pandemic rolls on. Meanwhile, in response to this study's findings, the state government says it's already committed to employing 100 extra school psychologists over the next four years. Rhiannon Shine, ABC News.